do, what we do, we'll do a little recap on Muse and Mirrors. Okay. And let's say you're a full license holder. Okay. And let's say you're preparing for a part two. I know you've passed your part yeah, two, yeah. but let's say for the benefit of this, I'm helping the full license holder with their. In fact, yeah, I've actually got a guy at the minute that could use. We'll this. We're we'll, we'll doing this with him next. So yeah, I just want you to play the role of people, a person, driver, full license holder that doesn't check their mirrors well at all. I. Okay, and I've just pulled you up. And we're gonna have a, we're gonna have to chat, and then we're gonna go to sort it out. Alright. Okay, so I've just noticed this, and I go right. So I'm gonna do a recap on use of mirrors, and you can answer as however you like. You can be very knowledgeable or not at all. The, I mean, the less what, what knowledgeable would you, you are, I don't. I really don't care. The less knowledgeable right. you are, the longer it will take. Obviously, because right. I'll have to explain. Things. Yeah. Okay. Fair. 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 So let's say you've got. Let's say you're mostly there. Okay. Just as, so I can just do a quick Q&A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, you can just turn the engine off for a sec. So let's do this. So yeah, so Ian, I've just pulled you up. Just because I've noticed some some issues with your mirrors. And I'd just like to, to address that, if that's all right with you. Okay. Okay, so just want to do a little recap, just to establish what your knowledge is with the use of mirrors. And then we can go forward and sort of have a plan and sort that out. Okay. So, I already asked you before we got going, your mirrors were correctly set up. They are. We've they done are. that. They are all correctly set up. You've got half road, half sky, thumb yep, switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just want to quickly ask you, just as a recap question, can you remember the different types of glass you've got in your mirrors? Um, flat and convex. Good. Which, where's the flat? There. And what image does that give you? True. True. And what does the convex give you? Um, further away. Yes, yeah, so you get a wider field of vision, mm. makes things look smaller than they really are. Okay. And do you understand the importance of when we're checking our mirrors, if we're going around a parked car, for example, and you're going to go round to the right, what is the order of mirror checks that you should be making? Um, centre and right. Good. And do you know why centre first? Uh, true image. Very good. Good, so you understand that. So, next question then is when should you check your mirrors? Um, I'm going to say before yeah. a manoeuvre and before signalling. Okay. So, if we've talked about MSM before, haven't we? Mm. And what does that stand for? Mirror signal manoeuvre. Yeah, so mirrors before signalling, as mm -hmm. you just said, and you just said manoeuvring. Mm. So, let's break the manoeuvre part down. Because we need to be a bit more specific. What is a manoeuvre? So, if we break that down into speed and direction. So, okay. we're in, is, in addition to checking mirrors before signalling, which you're not actually doing, oh. talk about that later, we want to get our, we want you to check your mirrors before ch a change of speed, which will include speeding up or slowing down. Okay. Or a change of direction. Okay. Going around a parked car, changing lanes. Which well, you're actually much better at that. Okay. You, you, <clears throat> you, you naturally check your right mirror when you're going around parked cars. It's very good. So that's when we want to check it. So we're going to check mirrors for signaling, changing speed, changing direction. And so why do you think... Because we we've spoke about it, that you're not doing it. We've spoke about it on the drive. So why, why, why do you think you're not doing that? Um, I, I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just not so thinking just about for, it. Just forgetting it? Yeah, maybe Because you're a full license holder, you've been driving, what, 20 years? Do you think you've just got into bad habits? Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. So what we want to do is form new habits and get you to do it consistently, correctly, safely. Okay. And that really help you not just in preparation for your part two, but from a safe, you know, being a safe, responsible driver. Okay. All right. So we know when we should check them. We know we use them in pairs. So now we just got to get this habit in, haven't we? And get get you to do it. That's correct. So are you happy for me just to give you like prompts to sort of say basic when I would be checking my mirrors? Can I just sort of ask you a question, give you a little reminder to get into your mirrors? Okay. If we do that for this short drive, then after a while I'll start to hand that over to you and we just want to form this new habit. Okay. Happy with that? Yeah. 
So when you're ready, we're gonna start up. You're gonna move off when it's safe to do so, and what routine are you using to move off safely? Uh, pong. Good. Right, well, my vehicle's coming, so I'm just going to wait. And tell me the importance of a six point shake. Why don't we just check our mirrors and not bother with looking around the vehicle? Um, oh, for instance, this woman with the pram, we might miss her. Very good. So, do you think you could have got away before the cyclist then? I guess so, yes. Yeah, I, you want to be looking for those gaps and getting away. Okay, but it's quite handy because now we've got a cyclist to deal with. So before we go around the cyclist, what two mirrors are you going to check? Centre and right. Good, and why are you checking the right one? Make sure there's nobody there. Okay, good. And then before you come back in, which two mirrors are you going to check? Um, centre left, yeah. You've already done it. Good, and why did you check that left? To make sure that I cleared him, basically. Yeah, yeah. did you wait till you could see him before you come back in? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very good. End of the road, we're going to turn right. So before you signal, what two mirrors? Centre left. Centre right. Centre right. <laughs> Centre right. Yeah. You did. You just got your words confused there because you did check the correct mirrors. You just said the wrong um, direction. That's all. I signalled before that junction though. It was. Is that okay? Yeah, you're going to talk well because it's quite close. About that, but, but in the new roads, what mirrors are you going to check? Um, all of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on that junction and when should you have signalled? Maybe after, possibly. And why is that? Uh, not to confuse anyone behind me. Yeah, good. Did you confuse anyone? No, there's no there. So it wasn't worth of a mention from me. You didn't cause any problem. I didn't want to intervene. At the end of the road, we're going to turn right. Okay. So before you break before this bend, did you show your mirrors? No, no, no. I didn't think you did. So before you signal at the end, what mirrors? Um, Oh, okay, right, so centre right. That's it, so we just want to get our yeah. mirrors in earlier. Okay. Now we're into a new road, so what mirrors are we checking here? Uh, all of them. That one, that one, that one. It's left, centre, right, and look for those bikes. It's going to go ahead. Before okay. you touch them brakes, what mirrors? Centre mirror. And, and you left mirror. Yeah, that's good. Why yeah. did you set that one? Because it's good. Um, just to make sure there's no cyclists or anything there. Yeah. And where would a motorbike be coming from, potentially? Could they come down there? Yeah, I guess they could come down the right, yeah. So yeah. we talked about Bob and Tom? No. Okay, no, no. Bob, this mirror, boy on a bike. Yeah. Tom, twit on a motorbike. So for Bob, look for Tom, look for vehicles behind. So I'm going for next year, actually, motorbike license. And while you're waiting at the lights, we, have, we overtook a cyclist a little while ago. Do you know he might be coming down here I soon? Mean, he could do, yeah. So if we keep Haven't an eye out him yet. So he could go this way or down there. If we look ahead, there's a cycle path ahead, which goes into the middle lane. I don't know mm -hmm. if you can see that yet, but there will be one. I thought I had the bus game ready there. Pretty much sure that was. And so before we move off, are you going to reach out those mirrors? I am, yes. So, and what's, what's that guy doing behind? Do you notice what he just did? You mean the lorry or the guy right the, behind? The guy right behind. No, I he's taking, he's, uh, he's adjusting his uh, glasses. Well, he moved forwards to let the bin lorry pass. So he was oh. he was looking in his mirrors and he thought, well, do you know, he can just help that bin lorry and he moved up to let him go around. Okay, so the next roundabout, well, there's pedestrian crossing. So what, what are we going to do? There is all of them. And at the roundabout, we're going to go left. So, to my centre mirror, left mirror, and then signalling left. Consider the signal here, because there's a turn there. These oh, yeah. pedestrians might just think you're going to turn in. Oh, they're yeah, right. They might think do. about the timing of the signal. Okay. Just so we don't confuse anyone. Another pedestrian crossing. Checking all my mirrors. Yeah, okay. Good. Looking for Bob and Tom. I think, yeah. And there's this change of speed limit coming up. So before you change that speed, what mirrors are you going to show? All of them. Well done, good. So do you feel like you're getting the hang of this now? Yeah, yeah. Do you I'm want me to try and leave you to it? I'll give it a shot, yeah. Okay, so why don't you tell me, there's a roundabout coming up, tell me when you're checking your mirrors and why. Um, I guess I'll check my mirrors now. Good. Uh, because I'm approaching the roundabout, make sure there's no, there's no Bob and Tom by me. Checking to my right again, then check my mirrors again just before I move on to the roundabout. Centre left, signalling. 
to make sure there's nobody there. And as I'm entering a new road, I will check on my mirrors. What hazard you got ahead when he has the van is? Uh, I've got a cyclist ahead. That's now gone to the pavement, but he could enter the road again. That's it's a good position, giving him lots of clearance as well. And another gentleman close to the pathway. Going to go ahead at the roundabout. Okay. So all my mirrors, especially my left, since I'm going to be going there. Checking, looking, assessing, deciding. I'm going to act. Checking my mirrors, especially my centre there. And just stay in your lane here. You're in straddling two oh, lanes. You sorry. want to lane this one. You want to be in the left lane. Okay. Because what if you're straddling both lanes and that skater behind you wanted to overtake or turn and right? You could hit me. Well, he wouldn't hit you, he'd probably just be annoyed. It's going to go left and around now. Yeah. You'd be in his way, wouldn't you? Obstructing him. Centre left. Not all of them, actually. It's a good, good use of signal there. Hold on. Check on the mirrors. Go ahead of the roundabout. So you've gone over the speed limit there, what's the, what is the speed limit? It's a 40. And what did you get? Actually, don't incriminate yourself. Just, uh, yeah. yeah. You went over the speed limit. We went over the speed limit. Slightly. Yeah, that's the signal pinging And now that signal cancelled. DHL van waiting to get into the roundabout. Would he have benefited from that signal He went back? off, yes, yes. Yeah. So you, it, the signal cancelled, didn't it, on the roundabout? It did, yes. So just be aware that they did cancel. Okay. The ones, just pop it back on. So, well, how's your position at the minute? Centre of my lane. You're more left of centre. Just come over a bit to centre, because you've got a, a right-hand bend. If you're more left, you'll open up your vision. So if you okay. tuck it in here, you'll see more around that corner. Oh, you're Whereas right, you're right up right. near the white lines. So now you've extended your view. Now the road's straight, mirrors at centre, centre of lane. You, you just look like somebody's about to turn right, and that van behind, what's he going to think? About turning right? At the roundabout, turn right. At the roundabout, turn right, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, so your position there can confuse people, and, and you're diminishing your own view of the road ahead. So just by getting your position sorted, you can get some benefits from that. I see. Your mirrors are good. Thank you. And take the next right into the car park. Okay. So I think we've definitely made progress on mirrors. Yeah. I think now we need to talk a bit more about signaling and positioning. Yeah. And then what I'd like you to do is find a bay of your choice and drive forwards into it. Okay. Unless you want it to have a go at reversing. Um, okay, I'll give that a shot. Um, so I'll leave it up to you. Your, your choice, whether you drive in reverse in, as long as we finish in between the lines. Just try it. Ta da! Mm, yeah. Alright, so we just sum up. So, just to um, consolidate, when should you check your mirrors? Before, um, oh, we spoke about this, so before um, signalling, yeah. before ch change of speed, and before change of direction. Very good. And and how do you feel you've got on with that in that short drive? Oh, very good, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And, and so what do you feel, feel that we could do better there? I could do better with my signalling a little bit and maybe my uh, positioning on the road. Yeah, so with a little bit about a time and a signal. Mm. Well, sometimes you question yourself, which is right. You signalled there were two junctions close to each other, and you felt you you identified that, mm. but you didn't affect anyone. But the time I was, can, or more interested, is where then pedestrians were there, and there was that mm. turn into like some mattress man. Yeah. Yeah. So with that signal too early, if you was walking along there, yeah. do you think you'd be like, oh, I better wait because I think that. Car's I would have probably in. waited. Yeah. Yeah, so then they wait for nothing. They didn't, because they, they didn't. weren't near enough. But it's just something to think about, isn't it? Uh, I could time. probably confuse the, the road traffic behind me and the people on the yeah. pedestrian as well. So just think, yeah, just think about timing of it. And okay. we talked about position as well. Yeah, but come so, to the left, open up my road a bit more. Yeah, and what about roundabouts? What you um, I, I cut the roundabout a little bit, didn't yeah. I? Yeah, so you straight lines. 
Why did you do that? Um, is that the roundabout was a bit confusing. I thought it was a bit. I thought that I was on the left, but really I could have come to the left a bit more. No, if you think about your mirrors, so you're, you're checking your mirrors, so you know what's behind. Because mm -hmm. a lot of drivers would do that. They'll think, well, there's there's two lanes here. There's no one coming up. I'll just cut yeah, yeah, through yeah. the lanes to make a shorter, smoother path to your exit. Are you thinking that's why you did it? Yeah. No, I, I think for me, I thought the roundabout, I thought I was in the correct position for my roundabout, so I decided that that was right. Um, I thought maybe I thought there was enough space on the right, so maybe it's just my spatial awareness. I could have been to the left a bit more. Yeah, you were just more centered. I yeah. think if the Skoda wanted to come round, he wouldn't be able to. Okay, I see. Do you think he did want to come round? No, no, no. I no. don't think he did. But if you if you are in the habit of doing that, sooner or later there will be someone. And going forwards to your part two test, if there's two lanes on that roundabout. I don't want you in, in your lane for your I lane see, okay. Yeah, so um so that's another little habit we can look at. We can look at that next time. Okay, yeah. There you go. End of done. So okay. there you go, a little recap on use of mirrors. Then new things coming. And that's what people could do if they're taking a full license holder on a part three, you know. I'm glad you mentioned that because when I I did kind of do the roundabout I wasn't gonna say it, but I did kind of do it to see what you'd say about it. Because this is what my my sister's brother does a lot. I'm teaching him roundabouts. So I've moved off roundabouts and I'm gonna tackle next lesson I'm gonna um I'm gonna get him to do a hill start, okay? Because I've noticed that lately he's become slack and lifting the clutch too much or keeping it down. Yeah. But he does that, what I did on the roundabout, he does it all the time. Yeah. And I've really struggled getting him to do it. So I was really curious to see what you were gonna yeah. say if I did it. So people watching this might think, oh yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to take a full license holder who needs mirror checks. But what they won't better plan is that you straight lining around about or being in a funny position mm. on a right bend when you're right up near the centre line. Yeah. And, you know, you can't script that. You just have to be there with your people looking at them, watching them and thinking, do you know what, why are you, why are you doing he, this? He does this. He generally does it. He generally cuts it and, up. And it's and, if yeah. you're missing those things on a part three... That's where you're in trouble. I see, I understand. Because they'll be like, do you know what? The examiners see it, thinking, why aren't you dealing with it? Come on, mm. look at their position, look at their signaling. Why is this not do you, happening? You don't do it there and then, do you? You pull up and then talk to them, or you agree that. Well, before. I do what I did. Okay. So on that bend, I did it on the move. You did, I said, you why did. Why are you, you over did. there? Well, come over here, you can open up your view, and mm. this van behind thinks, and it's like, oh yeah. Then I just consolidate, recapped on it here. Okay. Say, so we need to do more on that. I'm like, oh, it's on my radar now. Yeah. Um, off my list, mirrors is just gone. It's the work in progress, to be fair. Yeah. But now the signaling and, and position is now like, oh, I need to sort that out. Okay. Just like we did when you did your part two. Yeah, yeah, fantastic, yeah. great. So that's, that, that'll help people, because people have been asking about, could you do full license holder mirrors? So there you go, perfect opportunity. Well, if you have um... this off, yeah. yeah Unless you wanted to do a little mirror thing. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'll miss mirrors every so now and then. So if you have made news, sure then. So this is another little... I just... No, 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 no. I'm never going to get 